Hey, welcome back to Bridal Sewing Techniques, and today we're going to talk about how to remove blood stains from fabric. In fact, today's example is going to be a wedding gown made of bridal satin. Are you someone who has experience with a mix of sewing, but is looking to get into the bridal sewing niche? This channel is for you. Hit subscribe to become a part of the community. I'm starting with spraying the stain with Dreft Laundry Stain Remover. Now I'm going to list every product that I use in the video description down below. The way you find that is you look for the name of my channel, Bridal Sewing Techniques, and it's got the little circular picture beside it with the lace. You look at that and underneath it it says show more. Click on that and that's got a treasure trove of information for you. I'll have links in it and also product names. Now this is Eucalan. I don't know what I would do without Eucalan at my shop. It's a lanolin based cleanser and it can be used on 100% silk. Um, so this of course is a synthetic satin. Um, so we wouldn't have to use eucalyptus just to be safe with the fabric like you would say a silk, 100% silk. But I'm going to use the eucalyptus not just because it's safe but because it works so well. So you can see it really frothing up there as I scrub. I'm scrubbing with a piece of bone. Now that was a drop of a lemon ink. I'll also link to all of these other things down below. I did a video before where I scrubbed and spot treated and I used a piece of bone and I had so many questions about that. Bone? What kind of bone? Where did you find that? What is bone? People had no idea what I was talking about. So when I say bone, it's literally a piece of bone. Um, so I got it. This is draft again, by the way. I got it, uh, my particular piece of bone, I think from like a dry cleaner supply store. Um, but I'll also link to it down below where you can get it on Amazon. Um, the reason why, again, that was draft. The reason why I'm using um, the bone and the reason why it's traditionally used um, for this kind of application is it's considered very neutral. So you don't want to uh, be scrubbing with something that is going to interact with your fabric or your cleansers. Now, as I'm scrubbing and I'm really starting to use the point now instead of the side, really digging into that edge, that's where the deepest, most saturated part of this stain was. All the minerals of the blood seem to dry up and really get kind of thick on the edges of the stain. Um, so you'll see where I'm really digging. Let me give you some background on this. First of all, when I started planning this video, I thought, you know, I could just show a couple of things um, and just really edit it down and just say, one, two, three, okay, we're done. Um, but then I knew I would have a lot of questions like, how long did you scrub? Exactly how did you scrub? That kind of thing. So I am showing the whole process here. I'm cutting some parts out, but really not much. I want you to get an idea of how long it takes to work this stain out. Now I'm rubbing away with a piece of muslin. As you know, that's not the most absorbent kind of fabric, um, but it's pretty safe. It doesn't have a lot of chemicals and stuff um, like some other fabrics may have. Now the story about this dress is it's a wedding gown that would have cost um, thousands of dollars and my bride got it for a couple of hundred because it had a significant blood stain on there. Um, as you know, things happen in the store. Someone gets cut, you know, a pair, uh, pair of scissors or whatever, and there's blood on the dress. Sometimes we prick our fingers as seamsters and we get it on the dress. That's actually much easier to get out than this. This was set into the satin. So, um, but the bride got a great deal on this dress. Now, I want you to see the damage that is occurring to this fabric because of how hard I had to scrub it. Never just haul off and start really digging and working on a deep set stain without having a conversation with the bride first. My conversation with the bride went like this. This is a very deep set stain. 
in order to get it out, you're probably going to have some damage to the weave or the fibers of this gown. So we're likely going to get the color to be much more uniform like the original color was. It may even be a little lighter if some of the dye work comes out. Um, but most of the stain will be gone, but you may have some texturing difference in that fabric. She was all for it. She did not mind. She just liked the idea of feeling like her dress was cleaner with the stain gone. Here I'm showing you the backside of the fiber so you can see um, how extensive the damage is. It goes all the way through. Sometimes you can nudge some of those uh, fibers over too because sometimes they're smashed up and spread apart. You can kind of even them out using like a beading needle and just slide them a little closer together. But mostly what I'm going to do is cycles of very steamy pressing and then putting that clapper that I'm using right now. It's called a Taylor's clapper. Putting that down to really help those fibers lay straight. So what you're doing is you're putting the steam iron on there, the heat, trying to get all those fibers to relax. When you put the clapper on there, it rapidly dries out that fabric and cools it. It helps everything calm down in a very compressed, smooth way. So you're gonna do several passes of this, you know, the pressing, the steaming, the using of the clapper. You may even need to feather where you spot cleaned, uh, feather the edge of that spot. You're going to create a larger spot just with the detergents. Feather that with a little distilled water and press and just keep cycling through. Now you can see how clean the fabric came. You can see the damage, which overall, when we held this up, uh, when we were done, it, it's not very noticeable if you compare it to, say, um, it, what it reminded me of is where somebody kind of steps on the train and it stretches out the fabric a little bit. It looked more like that, but with a very uniform color. So this bride was just pleased as punch, as we say here in the South. I hope this has helped you. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions. If you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. Here comes my channel trailer that'll explain what we do here. I know what you're looking for. You've been sewing for years, but you want to get into full-time bridal sewing. But there's something missing. You're missing the backroom secrets, the industry tips and tricks. The tools, the sources, the techniques that give you the speed and the accuracy that the industry demands. You have found it.